The plan I'm not going to say is going to drop a lot in price is the fill. This is the plant you want. I mean, it's $4,000. Most of these plants were about $1,000 or $1,500 at some point in the last 18 months. But because of tissue culture and overproduction of these plants, they should come down a bit in price. I'm seeing them show up on more wholesale availability lists. And the prices I reference will be for the four inch pot size in the United States for 2024. First up is a plant that was many thousands of dollars, the philodendron caramel marble. This is an absolutely stunning plant and has some of the best colors on it. I do believe it is a hybrid. I just don't know of the parents or the lineage, but this plant is in tissue culture. We have it in tissue culture. And I think this plant is gonna come down to really like the two to three hundred dollar price range for the four inch pot size. I saw someone selling one on Facebook Marketplace for about three ish hundred dollars. Yeah, there's, you know, 480. So like three to five hundred dollars, assuming from tissue culture. Obviously, you can take cuts of this plant, but it is a stacking node philodendron. So it's really hard to cut this plant. And they are really there's a TC of the plant for 135 bucks from Thailand plus $60 shipping. So 195 assume some markup. So that plant was like one to 2000 bucks, even for the last like 12 months. Next up is the Alocasia Dragon Scale Variegata. I think all the different variegation varieties, the Albos or the Oreas, obviously the more specialized looking ones will hold their value. I think that is the thing with the Alocasia is that depending on how cool that variegation is, they'll go for a higher or lower price. I personally have some of these in the Orea form in tissue culture multiplying right now. So I could see these coming down to like the 150 to like 200 ish in the next 12 months in 2024, maybe even to like the hundred bucks. Obviously you can get corms, but the variegated form is really beautiful. And there you have the uh, dragon scale on eBay ending today from rare plant fairy for 180 bucks. So there you go. Lower variegation granted on this one, but yeah, should be in like the one to $200 range, maybe 250, 300 for the really outstanding variegations. Next up is an incredible plant, the Burl Marks Flame. This plant when it's mature is stunning. The leaf shape of this Monstera is unlike really anything I've ever seen. It's like a mutated Deliciosa, but it is in tissue culture. Notice the trend here. Tissue culture is going to make plants more affordable. It's the main way that places like Costa Farms produces hundreds of thousands, if not millions of unit. And it's the way that you can buy a peace lily spath at your local Kroger or your grocery store because they're bought in 72 cell or 100 plus cell, 10, 20 trays for about 70 cents each. And those are typically from Florida or a different TC lab. But these ones are predominantly, here you go, a bunch of TC Burlmark's flames. This is 48 weeks ago. This is how they grow up. So I assume a four inch pot of this will be like one to 200 bucks, which is awesome because I think we bought our mother plant for like a thousand. And here's Katie Ann with hers. This is still a slightly immature form. This is like seven or nine leaves, but they really get the big fenestrations later on. This LB plant collector, but this is a gorgeous, gorgeous version. Look at this. And like the noting, like the alternation up the stem. I think this photo circulated the internet. Yeah, a few weeks ago. It looks fake. It's perfect, but you can see, you know, the progression of the fenestration and the leaf size as it goes up. It looks like it's on a moss pole. So it's going to make the leaves progressively larger to this massive one. That's probably like a foot or more in length. Really cool to see the Burl Marks flame coming down in price because of TC. And there you have a four inch Burl Marks flame for 269. And I assume in 2024, we're going to see a little bit further decrease in that price. There's one for 200 bucks. Looks like from TC might have some chunky nodes down there. I don't really know, but that's how they look early on. 200 bucks or best offer. You can buy that right now. So yeah, probably one or 200 bucks for a four inch pot here up in 2024. Next up is the Monster Orea. Now this one has come down a good amount in price, but I'm adding it to the list because it's starting to show up on my tissue culture availabilities that I'm getting from Asia. The Albo is in tissue culture as well as the Orea is. And of course the mint is. The mints tend to go for like 80 to 100 bucks at TC level, and the Oreas even go for like 65 bucks, which is pretty expensive because my prediction for a four inch pot of this is going to be like 50 to 100 bucks. The price has really fallen 
it tends to be an unstable variegation I've found. Ours half mooned and then full mooned and just has really stayed all yellow. But it's a very pretty plant when it's more of a marbled variegation. Not my favorite and has dropped insanely in price relative to something like the Albo. It's dropped now beneath the Albo in many senses. So I expect that to be like 50 to 100 bucks for a four inch pot. Wow, there you go. This is, I don't know if this is an import. No, this is from Texas. They list like the mother plant as the main profile pick and then they like kind of bait and switch you. So I don't even know what I'm buying. C5, C2, I can't select one. There we go, rooted cuts, 100 bucks. But there is something really cool about TC. When they're in four inch pots, they're super uniform and they grow up like in miniature forms of their big versions, just like we've watched Tycons with their tiny little Monstera leaves. And then they grow up much, much bigger. So that's pretty cool to watch something like an Orea grow up like that. And you can choose the variegation at the early tissue culture stage and that will mostly progress and continue as the plant grows. Here's kind of what I was talking about. These all look like from TC kind of, no, these are cuts but they're really cute. Next up is the Alocasia Bambino or Pink Bambino, Albo Bambino. I really like the Pink Bambino. I have these in tissue culture right now. They go heavily white, so watch out for that. Although it's really pretty, just like Albo's, it's doing nothing for the plant, not photosynthesizing, but I estimate these to be kind of between 75 and 100-ish bucks, maybe. They replicate really easy in TC, so that leads me to believe that the price will drop significantly there is ada with hers super pretty pretty plant and looks like here's one grown out from tissue culture and pink bambino from rare plant fairy for a hundred bucks ending today also low variegation but kind of what i was saying 2024 look for 75 to 150 bucks you're going to pay based on variegation just like all these rare variegated plants we're all buying the same thing will go for alocasia this is actually one of my favorite new philodendrons coming out. This is the orange princess. This flecking variegation, it must be some chemical or some environmental factor that they're subjecting these plants to in Asia to produce that fleck-like variegation that they figured out how to replicate it pretty much from the Tycon because you're seeing it in the white wizards, the white knights, the pink princesses coming out of, of Costa Farms now all have that. And the orange princess, I suspect that plant will be kind of down to like the one to $200 range. And if someone like Costa Farms picks that up, I don't think they will because Costa really likes when tissue for them is like a buck each. But there's that same flecking looks like in this, is this a, it looks like a white knight. Yeah, white knight has the striping and that flecking through the stem, which indicates stable variegation. I'm a big fan of that flecking, but the orange princess is a really beautiful plant and has a lot of variation in the leaves. I think like Cheyenne pointed out in one of our other trends predictions videos, you're going to see a lot of hybridized philodendrons coming out in the coming year. And a lot of them are based and crossed with the Florida Beauty. Apparently because the Florida Beauty flowers so easily, so it naturally becomes a plant parent to one of these other crosses. Here's a diagram showing all the different kind of heart shapes. Philodendron rubinescence mostly is the species here, but there is the orange princess with all the other white princess, knights, pink princesses, purple peasants. And they're pretty hard to come by. You can't, oh, there's one from Indonesia, 300 bucks. So I suspect this will just come into TC more. It will be multiplied more, but a, a couple hundred bucks, I assume in 2024. Assuming we're still on the decline a little bit in price, I think we're starting to flatten from like a macro standpoint in houseplants. I think the big fall has already occurred. People that were gonna leave the industry left the industry. And there's that pink princess with the marble variegation for 180 bucks. Yeah, I mean, they're selling these at like Kroger and they're all over the Facebook groups for people finding rare plants in like grocery stores and Lowe's. I wanna say these are like 30 bucks max at uh, your typical big box stores and these are being produced by Costa Farms. So 180 is a little steep, but it's a beautiful variegation. I will give them that. Next up is the infamous Philodendron Spiritus Sancti, also heavily in tissue culture. We are producing a good amount of the tissue cultured versions of the Spiritus Sancti. This plant in the four inch pot size has been around a hundred bucks. I think it'll come down a bit more, maybe into like the seventies, but it will make it very available to people to buy and have this plant, which is a really, really gorgeous plant. It comes out with these really deep waxy green leaves. 
and obviously we all know how expensive this plant was a few years back. If you haven't yet, go check out our story on the Philodendron Spiritus Sancti and the history of it. The Philodendron Spiritus Sancti is still holding its price pretty well. 200 bucks at the four inch pot size, 180, 600, 250, 500, but you can pretty much get them for a hundred bucks. We were selling ours for a hundred bucks on average. I sold some tissue culture versions in the bag still with agar for about 70 bucks. So I suspect that one will come down to like the 50 to a hundred bucks. And when these plants are in tissue culture and cost of farms isn't touching them or some of the big producers of plants aren't touching them, a lot of these, you know, $250 plants that are being sold out of Florida by a smaller eBay account is pretty much you or I or chop and proppers that are just buying them in bag TC, growing them up, acclimating them. They're going to lose a percentage of that and build that into their price. And, you know, 250 here is a little on the high side right now, but they might be able to sell this. People are checking out. People have added this to their watch list. So Spirit to Sancti, look for it around 50 to 100 bucks, probably about 75 bucks. Next up is the Green Congo Hybrid. This plant is heavily in TC, but it takes a long time to grow up to this larger size. It says it's a hybrid, so I'm not sure of its lineage, but it really has some beautiful, beautiful variegation across the leaves. You check out this IG account. They tend to have some of the coolest variegations. Actually, I just saw this. This is a Florida beauty crossed with tortum. Sorry for the tangent, but uh, this is a really cool IG account, variegated plant out of Thailand, I believe, or Indonesia. It looks like Thai. Here, they're standing with the black, Cardinal. So we'll kind of jump into number nine, the green Congo, red Congo, black Cardinal, these kind of really beautiful, big leafed plants that can get these stunning variegations across them. They're heavily in TC. As you can see here, this is tissue culture grown out. You see the uniformity of the monocropping. All the plants are the same size. That's why people love tissue culture. It's really easy to grow an even canopy. And that's very important when you're growing mass amounts of plants. This is the black Cardinal. So green Congo, red Congo, black Cardinal. I'm going to say like 150 on a really good deal to 300 bucks for 2024. And some of them, like this one is the Red Congo. The Red Congo has got to be my favorite. Obviously, when they're this size, they're very expensive and they're striking. I saw one at IAS in Florida and it was so pretty. The unvarigated version of this also is very, very gorgeous. But if you put in those big half moon leaves with pink, orange, red variegation, it's it's just a very, very pretty plant. Let's see with the red Congo. You can get tissue for like one to 200 bucks. There's a four inch pot right there for 290 bucks. Kind of decent variegation, not great variegation. Doesn't look like a whole lot's coming out of the newest leaf and the other leaves don't have a bunch. So that's what you wanna be careful of in this plant. And what this photo tells me is that the stem right here, this section of the stem is the only part of the stem that has variegation. And what you want on a variegated plant is 360 degrees of that plant to have variegation. Because if you think of it as like a circle, as it puts out leaves all the way around, it will only hit on that variegated side once in a while. They're all from the same cellar, kind of unstable. Half moon, then it goes back to like the kind of purple peasanty, which kind of scares me a little bit. But the variegated version looks like strawberry shake style variegation too. It would be really cool to see these plants DNA and see how closely related like this plant is to the pink princess is to the strawberry shake. They must be all very, very closely related. And here you go, $1,700. This is a beautiful plant though. I'll try and put up some footage of the plant I saw at IAS. I think it was in competition. I forget whose it was, or maybe it was a red rum from Silver Chrome Gardens. I forget who it was, but it was a stunning massive philodendron. You can get these unvarigated at your local garden store for like 30 bucks. And they're really great to put in the corner of a room and kind of dominate a corner of a room. The plant I'm not going to say is going to drop a lot in price is the philodendron billy because this plant even in TC is so unstable and it's so unstable even in the cut forms. So I can't say it's going to come down to the fun range of like one to 300 bucks because they're still being sold at wholesale for like 800 to 1200 bucks. And even in TC, it's just not worth the chance of it going all green. Look at this one by Rare Plant Fairy. This is like, this is the plant you want. I mean, it's $4,000. That's kind of small too. That's like a four or five inch pot. 
but that plant might revert $4,000. I'm gonna say wait on that to come down a bit in price. And finally, the final one I'm gonna talk about that I think is gonna come down in price again because of tissue culture are the wild clone or what I call clone only forms of anthurium. Things like PAP, Delta Force, because Delta Force is a cross, but it's a specimen of two parents. So even if you cross those two parents again, they'll have another child that won't look exactly like the Reed Gardens Delta Force or another clone only Delta Force. The Dresslerys, the Carla Blackier, these are clone only plants that have a specific look that people are after. And I think a lot of TC labs are gonna take these in house and produce clones of them. And as we talked about last week, yes, there is a chance of somal clonal variation, but it is a rare chance. So a lot of the times you're going to get an exact copy of that plant and that will bring these clone only or wild clone anthuriums down to like the two to $300 range for a four inch pot, which is really exciting because a cross of Delta Force will never go for the same rate as a pure Delta Force. Like if you cross Delta Force with Carla or Delta Force with Clarinervium, it will never be the same as a pure Delta Force. Many of us want those pure genetics of those plants. We don't want it diluted by that secondary parent. So these dark plant matters, that's one of the tags on IG, but these dark leafed anthuriums, I think we're gonna see them in TC more often. I'm doing some experiments of my own in tissue culture, trying to create callus actually from some anthuriums. So we will see what occurs with that. And let's see if eBay has anything, tissue culture anthurium, not yet. Now I've seen some tissue culture anthurium be offered to me from Asia, but they're not yet doing the cool anthuriums. They're doing the queen, they're doing the vecchii, they're doing luxurians and all the things we've had forever. There you go, Ace of Spades original plant. And they're doing some, I oh, forget the name of the, some like kind of ugly anthuriums, honestly. But they're doing a lot of those in TC, but they are not yet doing the big leafed forms of like Carla's or dresses or the paps. And you could do all the numbers of the paps and that would bring our costs way down as consumers, which would be really cool to see. So those are my predictions for 2024. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, please, please, please click the like button down below. It really helps me out. And if you wanna come back every week for another video, click subscribe and we'll see you next week. Happy New Year. I hope everyone has a safe New Year's Eve and I'll see you in 2024.